reality is that we, we should be looking at being able to supply our needs locally. I mean, the idea of self-sufficiency was, was one of the reasons we came here, but I, the idea of individual self-sufficiency is some, something I, I wouldn't say I, I don't agree with it, but I think the idea of regions being more self-sufficient in areas, and certainly countries being self-sufficient in terms of the basic needs, to me, is, is, a, is a major thing. We planted a fairly diverse range, and I suppose it was a good thing to see what would be suitable in these type of soils. Um, the sycamore and beech, I love, I love beech and I, I love the light at this time of the year under the beech, but in this particular block I think I probably would have stuck with native species and I would have been very keen to go more for native provenance as well. The man who came out in the first instance, who was initially came here with his stick and said, mm, this is a Sitka spruce site, and then pushed the stick in and went down like that. <laughs> and they said, mm, maybe ash and uh, maybe ash and sycamore. And Noel said, no, I want oak. I, I want oak on this side. I want to try oak. And it, I, I have to thank Noel for that because I definitely were, are happy to have the oak in here. It wouldn't be nearly as good a plantation as it, as it if I hadn't had the financial backing from the Forest Service anyway. They, they keep throwing a little bit of money my way every year as well, which is... The grant at the time was 50% oak plus other species. That was a grant category at the time, which is now no more, which allowed us the opportunity to work with other species. So it's a 50% oak per stocking yeah. with other species. We had another inspector coming in midstream, and he was a bit probably, um, he would have questioned the merits of the whole thing. But then later on he started to see it and, and at his retirement party he acknowledged that there were things he did which he hoped would turn out well yeah. in the future. Forestry management tends to be based on the fact that you're, the intention is to produce timber quality trees, that, that's something that will go eventually through a sawmill. But the nature of the work that I do doesn't necessarily mean that the trees have to be sawmill quality. I, I can take kinks and bends in a tree and be able to make something useful out of them. Sort of, I like the idea of making the best of, of, of what you have, and, and I mean that, that was the sort of a traditional old practice. We, we sort of live in a more of a catalogue culture now, where if you want something, you log onto the internet or look in a book somewhere and get what you want. Whereas in the past, people looked around them and they made the best of what they have, and I like I like that idea.